He's like, um, no thanks, I'm not interested, but hey, let's take a selfie. Hey there everyone, my name is Haley, and welcome to the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. So let me introduce you to our Sim here, who is going to be the matriarch for this challenge. Her name is Camilla Everett. Um, let me go through her aspirations. So her aspiration is to have a big happy family. Um, and let's see, where are her traits? So she is romantic, creative, outgoing, and then she has the domestic trait from the aspiration that she chose. So this is like the starting house that we're going to go with here. It's kind of like a little cottage type style of house. Um, and we're going to add on to it eventually once we have more money and we need more more room for kids. But for now, this is what we have. So I'll go ahead, take you inside to the in inner part of the house here. Um, it is really not anything special. It's very, very basic right now because we really couldn't afford a whole lot. But we have a basic kitchen. We have an easel so that our matriarch can make some money. We have a couch and a TV in this room. We have Camilla's bedroom. And then on the other side of this wall is the bathroom. And that's really all that we have right now. Eventually, this side is going to be the kids' room. Um, or one of them or a couple of them, but I just didn't get to that quite yet um, But yeah, now let me go ahead and explain a few of the basic rules of the 100 baby challenge um, While we get Camilla to come do some painting here because I really want to get some more money We only have a little under $300 left. So let me do a small painting She'll get going on that, and I'll explain some of the baby challenge rules. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you watching right now, have heard of or watched or played a 100 baby challenge before in The Sims 4. Basically, what you have to do is you have one matriarch sim. Um, she's not allowed to have any sort of job. She has to just do stuff like selling paintings or playing guitar out on the street for tips or that kind of thing. Um, for her career uh, to make money and her, the goal is to have 100 babies. It's really a self-explanatory challenge. So with this matriarch, I'll have as many babies as she can before she gets to be an elder and at that point, the I think it's the youngest daughter then takes over as the matriarch and um, then she'll be having the next babies. And then you're also not allowed to use any sort of like monetary value cheats. So I can't cheat in more money to finish the house. Um, you also have to have each of the kids, uh, I think you have to have them get an A grade in school before you can age them up. Um, and then I also like to try to finish at least part of their aspiration too, just because like a personal goal for me before I age them up into the next uh available age group um, but she finished this painting so we're gonna sell it and then we're gonna do a whole another one uh, let's do another small one but uh, yeah that's pretty much all of the rules that are like the major ones um, I will link the page with all of the rules down in the description so you guys can go check that out for yourselves um, uh, but that's just about it. So I'm gonna play around with the lights here. I might actually swap these out for something a little bit brighter because these are kind of dim. There we go. That's much better and brighter. Um, so we're just gonna have Camilla here keep painting. I'm gonna kind of scan around um, the streets, see if I see any eligible dudes wandering around here that I could go talk to at any point. That's a child. That will not work. So right now it looks like we're losing money on these paintings, but I really need to get her painting skill up so that we can um, get some money from them. I also think it would be a good idea to start a garden because um, we can sell all of the produce and that will get us a lot of money. Um, right now I'm not really seeing anyone. This guy I think is married. I don't really like to go for the the married sims um, just because 
it's it's just awkward. I just don't like it. So we're gonna try to stick to single sims only, but there should be plenty of those around here. I know I added some in myself, um, just to make sure that we have plenty of single guy sims that we can choose from. So let's see, she's really doing pretty good on her needs. I think we'll have her do at least enough paintings to get back up to 200. Um, and then maybe we'll head out somewhere and see if we can meet someone. Oh, I also forgot to mention as part of the rules, I think one of the most important rules is that each of her babies has to come from a different guy. She can't have babies with the same person more than one time. So each time she wants to get pregnant, she has to do it to buy, or buy a different person. Okay, perfect. We are back up to over 200 dollars or simoleons so let's see there's definitely got to be some people around here that's a teen um if not we can head out into like a main town you might notice that all of this area is empty and all this is new crest all of new crest is going to be empty because eventually i'd like to fill it with all of her children because i think that'd be kind of nice to have just a town of people you're also a teen. Man, why are there so many teens? Um, I think it'd be cool to have like a, a just a town of all of her children and then their their families because I do have the MC command center um, mod installed and that kind of makes a story progression happen so I don't have to actually control them after they move out of the house. They'll just kind of get married and have children and whatever all on their own so It'll be kind of fun to see what they decide to do or what the game decides they should do, I guess. Anyway, let's go travel somewhere, see if we can find someone to kind of get a little romantic with, if you know what I mean. I'm thinking maybe we should try Windenburg, see what's around in there. I'm kind of hoping that maybe... Um, Sometime this episode, there will be a sort of... Let's go to the nightclub. I feel like a lot of young adults probably would hang out in there. Um, I'm hoping there will be one of those uh, San Myshuno city events or festivals or whatever. So that we can go there because that would be like a surefire way of meeting at least one person that we could kind of get to know a little bit. Alright, here's someone we could try to hang out with a little bit. Let's go do a friendly introduction to Diego here. Um, and I'll keep kind of looking around, see if there's anybody else that catches my eye. Ooh, this is a really pretty area. I don't think I really ever hung out in this part of Windenburg. Like, I've gone to this nightclub plenty of times in other saves, but I've never really explored around it. It's really pretty. I really like this area. Okay, let's see. Let's, first of all, let's just kind of be a little friendly and I don't want to jump too far straight into you know hey let's make out and you know because that's a little bit weird I don't know who you are you can get out of our conversation please and thank you goodbye um, I just want to talk to this guy over here in the corner Diego is a cultural connoisseur I don't even know what that means but you know good for him i'm i'm glad he has found something he is passionate about hopefully um talk about dreams deep conversation uh discuss interests and then tell a joke and then we'll go into maybe flirting just a little bit oh wow there's a lot of people here i completely did not even notice any of them okay this is the first little flirting they're doing so let's see looks like he's okay with it let's just talk a little bit more about describing our new idea and then we will maybe ask him if he's single he is single all right perfect let's do a deep conversation um and share our ideas and compliment his appearance. I love that very obnoxious looking floral suit you have there. Uh, it's really, really great. Let's get to know him. Um, pose a crazy scheme. Oh, he's an art lover. Perfect. We 
do art all the time. Um, can you stop moving? Can you just stop it? Okay, come flirt with him again. Uh, tell an engaging story. Um, and let's see, what else can we do? We can discuss color theory, even though I think we've already done that. I think we've already done pretty much every single conversation we can do. Um, let's see. Yeah, we really have. Um, what about in the funny category? We can tell a funny story. Can you please just, just stop walking away? Okay, her queue is completely full of social interactions, so let's see. Hopefully none of them backfire. Okay. None of the, the those all seem to go pretty well. Let's try to exchange numbers. Because this can sometimes be one of those things where it can go either way. So hopefully we'll be okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. Let's do um let's deep conversation. We're gonna just keep them here. It'd be really cool if we could just like become pregnant. Tonight, the very first night of existence, because then we wouldn't even have to worry about anything. Except for maybe money. That'd be something probably to worry about, but you know, whatever. Alright, we're gonna do a couple more friendly interactions, and then we're gonna try for the first kiss, because I really just want to get that out of the way. Where the heck? The option was just here, and now I can't see it anywhere. Let me try, let me try to embrace so that they'll stand up and then we'll try the first kiss. He's like, um, no thanks, I'm not interested, but hey, let's take a selfie. Well, crap, um, <laughs> let me do, uh, share photos and tell an unbelievable story and what are you doing here? I don't want you. Crap, she's gotta pee, but I don't want to leave because then I feel like he'll leave. This guy's just awkwardly standing here dancing and watching our conversation. It's kind of creepy. Alright, um, let's ask him to hang out one more time so that he doesn't leave. And then we'll have to go pee. Okay, go to the bathroom. Oh crap, he's leaving anyway. He just said he could hang out. Dang it! Alright, you know what? We might have to... Let's just go home and we'll invite him over. And he can sit at our house and do nothing, and we can hit on him. I think that sounds like a good plan. Oh, he's here. Okay, awesome. I didn't even have to call him over or anything. He's just already here. All right, let's talk to him a little bit. Tell a joke about Sunset Valley. Ask about his day. Then we'll come. We'll sit here and chat. I also probably should do a little bit of cooking. I can make some garden salad. Uh, right here. There it is. And we can serve it to him. Oh, what the heck is going on here? I think this is from earlier. Some of my custom content is outdated, so it wasn't working, and I put some beds down, and they didn't work, but I guess they were just invisible for the time being. Okay, they're chatting, having a pleasant conversation. He can come in here and talk for a little while. Let's, uh, let's see. Friendly... Color theory once again, because why not? Um, and we'll do a little bit of flirting. Just a tiny bit. Maybe he's over whatever was going on with him before. Alright, let's call to meal. So that Diego can come eat some food. Um, and then we'll just keep chatting away. Okay, I'm going to try something that could possibly <laughs> screw this whole thing up. I'm going to try a pickup line. Oh, is it working? I think it worked. Okay, perfect. And now they're both flirty. Okay, there we go. That's what I like to see. Let's blow him a kiss. Um, because now, hopefully, since they're both flirting, they'll be a little bit more interested in each other. Let's invite him to stay the night, because I think this is going to go pretty well. Yay, okay, perfect. He's coming, or he's staying over night, so we should be all set. Oh, he's washing my dishes! How sweet! That's very nice of him. You don't need to watch TV, just finish your food. We can get on to what is really important here today. And that is getting you pregnant. Thank you, there we go. Alright. And now he's using the toilet! Perfect! He's done 
spoil it in, so let's let's just let's ask a risque question. And uh first kiss somewhere, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think they're gonna have their first kiss eventually at some point once they stop talking about airplanes. Okay, are you gonna do it now? Did you just not have enough space in the bathroom? There we go. Yay! Okay. They kissed. Rest cheek and try for baby. Let's see. Let's see if this will work. Okay, I think, yes, they're going to do it. Perfect. All right. Let's just let them break out the candles. Make it romantic. Camilla is about to woohoo for the first time. Congratulations. That was very fast. All right, it is morning, and Diego has been sitting here watching TV literally all night. But anyway, I'm going to wake Camilla up. So she can take a pregnancy test. So just in case it didn't work, we can try round two uh, and see if hopefully that time it'll do what we're expecting it to do. Um, so let's see here. Yay, we're pregnant. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Okay, good. So now we can tell this guy and then kick him out of our house. Let's go ahead and... Stop talking to him. I guess I'll let him stay here for now since he seems to really enjoy our penguin TV. Um, we're going to go ahead and cook a... So let's cook some scrambled eggs and bacon. And we can eat. And hey, I don't even know who you are. Stop texting me. Oh, I also want to change the phone skin just because I think it's really cute. So I'm going to do this little striped one. Um, let's see. I'm going to have her eat and then take a thoughtful shower and then we're just going to literally paint all day because we need more money before we get a new baby in the house all right she has finished this painting we're gonna sell it and we're gonna keep having her oh she's got a pee already all right so pee and then we'll have you continue doing some more paintings let's start let's try a pop art one this time I think that one was like 115, I'm pretty sure. Let's see how a medium pop art one compares in price. Goodness, Diego keeps calling me. No, I don't want to go out on a date. I'm done with you now because I am going to have your baby. That's all I needed you for. You can leave me alone now. Okay, let's see. How much is this one going to be? Ooh, that one's way more. All right, we're going to do some more pop art ones. Let's try a large one this time. All right, uh, let's see. Stop going to eat food. Hold on. Let's sell this one. That's 243 simoleons. That is absolutely perfect. Oh, of course, now there's a festival. Uh, we're going to go ahead and skip this one because we just need to focus on getting some more money. Let's give her, let's have her eat some food, though. We'll have her eat some more salad. And, oh, she never finished her. Oh, yes, she did. This is just the empty plate. All right, there we go. Let's have her eat some salad and then keep on painting. Oh, there's a stray kitty over here. It's so cute. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to have any pets, though, unfortunately, because that'll just take up an extra space in our household that we need for babies. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to pass on adopting any cats or dogs. But um, I'm trying to look around and see if there are any plants around here that I could go and harvest. Um, and we could try to start a little bit of a garden because that'll just get us even more income. Um, it looks like there are a few. So I'm going to have her go around collecting and um, harvesting and digging and whatever. Um, so I will get back to you guys once I've gone around and gotten everything we can get. Actually, it looks like a lot of these aren't ready to be harvested yet. So we're going to just have her keep painting. Um, and then we'll start decorating our future baby's room. Oh, this painting is so cute. I kind of wish we could keep it, but we really need the money. So oh, we're going to have to sell it. All right, so she's been painting all day. It is now 1.30 in the morning. Oh my goodness, I'm having her just eat a quick little snack. Then she's going to bed, and we have almost $1,000 that we can play with um, when it comes to decorating 
for the new child. So I'm going to turn these lights on. Uh, turn on this room so that we can get a good view of what we're going to be doing here. So first of all, we actually need... Um, uh, what is it? It's a... Like a bassinet, I think that's what it's called, or a baby crib or whatever. Um, because with some of the custom content, it doesn't... Uh, some of the custom content I have makes it so that the babies actually just kind of float there. Um, and that's probably not what we're really going to want. So I'm going to try to find one that I think will look nice in Camilla's room. I actually think this one might look nice because her bed is that, um, that like blue and green one. Yeah, I think that one will look good. And we're going to just have the babies in Camilla's room. So we'll keep this in there for them. There we go. Um, and then let's focus on actually decorating in here now. So first off, let's go ahead and get a bed. We're just going to go for kind of the cheap route for now um, because that's really all we can afford. So we're just going to get a little bed, put it right there. Um, we could also probably should get a potty. I think that would be a smart choice. We'll go ahead and put that just in the bathroom over here. There you go. Um, Let's see, what else is there? Probably some sort of bookshelf or something would be good. Um, so let's just get, yeah, this cheap one right here. We'll just get this one. There we go. Um, other than that, and maybe a chair so that Camilla can come in and read to the little ones. Or little one, who knows how many we'll be having. I actually kind of really like this teddy bear chair. I kind of want this panda. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Actually, there's a way cheaper potty that we can get. So I'm going to definitely do that one instead of this one because we don't have that much money to spare on a potty. All right, now let's look at some toys we have. We can get this treehouse dollhouse thing. I don't think I want to do that, though. So let's just go with, is there a, just a toy box we can get? Ooh, let's get one of these cute little cat toys that's so cute. Um, we could also get one of these bears to increase social stuff. Um, so, okay, this one increases to imagination. This one increases communication, and then this will do... Movement and thinking. So there we go. I think that's perfect. Um, I don't think there's any other toddler skills other than potty, which we will build with this over here. So I think that is plenty uh, for now. Oh, I don't think we can really do much with uh, wallpaper or anything yet, probably. I might actually separate this out and make like a smaller room um, just for now so that we don't have to wallpaper the whole thing oh we don't even have enough money to do that so never mind unless I could yeah you know, let me see if I can figure something out all right so this is what we're working with I did have to delete a couple walls in the back here to put the walls around just this little area but uh from the front you can't tell so we're just gonna not look at the house from the back um uh, and once we get enough money we'll put those walls back I really hope we don't have more than one child um because that will cause a little bit of an issue all right she is woken up now let's have her go to the bathroom grab a serving of this uh eggs and toast or whatever and let me go see if any of this stuff is ready for harvest yet nope oh it might be but she's too uncomfortable to do it all right, it looks like some of this stuff is ready for harvest now. So we're going to have her go around, dig up some stuff, and harvest some plants. And I'll get back once I figure out what all she found. All right, so it looks like she harvested quite a bit of different produce and gems and all this stuff. So we're going to have her open up this box. She also found a hypno frog, which is kind of cool. I think we're going to actually just keep this guy around a little while we can put them down here on the floor next to the TV um, that could be kind of entertaining uh, so let's see she's gonna eat some food open up her crates needs to extract the fossils 
And I think that's everything. All right. So we're definitely going to keep most of this stuff for um, planting or cooking food because it just, I think, I think it cuts down on cost for cooking food if um, you have the foods, like, in, the ingredients are, like, grown fresh instead of being bought or whatever. So we're going to take 10 of each item and then we're going to sell the rest. All right, so we're going to sell these mushrooms. Yes, we want to sell all of them. Uh, we're going to sell all of these strawberries. And we're going to just sell all of these gems and stuff because we don't need any of them. They're not particularly uh, expensive. Oh, we're going to keep the lilies and the snapdragons, though, so that we can sell those. But um, anyway, these uh, fossils and artifacts and stuff aren't particularly great but they definitely gave us at least an extra couple hundred so i definitely think it was worth it to go find all that stuff so camilla here is feeling very sad because she has no social life so we need to find her a friend and by friend i mean like an actual friend friend who's never going to become a father of one of her children um just so that she has someone to talk to. It'd be kind of cool if it was another, like, mom or something. Um, let's see. There's no one really around here. I don't think she and Nancy would really get along quite well. So I'm going to have her finish uh, eating, and then we're going to head out somewhere, try to find someone that she can just kind of chat with for a little while. Okay, so I think that Camilla should try to be friends with the Betas because they're another family who is expecting a baby um, and hopefully her and Jessminder would be able to kind of hit it off. So we're going to go visit them. All right, we are here. Let's see if we knock on the door. Yay, we can come on in. And she's making food right now. Let's do a friendly introduction with Jessminder. Let's ask her her baby's due date. Um, let's let's see. Um, ask her about her day. Uh, let's see what else can we do. We can get to know her and discuss our interests. We can share our big news, which she probably could tell anyway. But you know, whatever. That's fine. Let's ask about her career. She might just be a stay-at-home mom. I'm not actually sure. Oh no, she's a mixologist. Okay, that's cool. Let's share ideas. Um, and have a deep conversation. Oh, uh, her husband is home. What is his name? I always forget it. Arun. All right, there we go. Let's do a friendly introduction to Arun too, just to make sure we kind of get to know both of them a little bit. All right, I'm going to let her finish up these cues here for these conversations. And then we're going to head home because she's feeling pretty tired and hungry and she needs a shower and she needs to pee. All right, first of all, let's let her go in and go to the bathroom because I feel like that's probably going to run down pretty quickly. Um, and let's go ahead and cook some food here. Um, maybe we could try... Oh, we could do a fruit salad since we have some strawberries. Use some fresh fruit and once she's done that and once she's eaten we will have her take a shower and then go straight to bed because she is tired it has been a long day all right so today is the third trimester of the pregnancy which means she could have the baby at pretty much any time it'll probably be a little later though um since i think she it probably isn't due yet for another few hours so Let's see if we can get her, let's get her to eat some food. Um, and then maybe we can have her paint a little bit because uh, that's probably the best that she should be doing or the most that she should be doing is just a little bit of painting. You don't want her to strain herself too hard. Oh, there we go, gone into labor. All right, let's go ahead and have the baby at the hospital let's go with her and uh i guess we can bring diego it is his child after all he probably should be there 
All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and check in at the front desk. Oh, she looks so cute in her little hospital gown, all ready to have her baby. Okay, so for some reason, the hospital was completely glitching out and she was standing there for literally hours just not having the baby. So, um, okay, I need to buy an empty bassinet. Okay, so the bassinet, because of some custom content I have, is invis invisible. It's actually over here, so hopefully she'll go over there and start to have her baby. Yay, good. Oh, it's a boy! Okay, I'm gonna just randomize some names. If you guys have name suggestions that you want, um, please go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. Um, let's see. I'm gonna keep going until I find a name that I like. This is kind of cute. I think I like Frankie Everett. Okay, we're gonna say done. There we go. Perfect. And it's just one child. So it's definitely not more than I can handle. So that is good. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end this first episode here. I can't believe we actually had our first baby in our first episode that's actually kind of unbelievable but i'm really happy uh, and i really am excited to get into the rest of this challenge so thank you guys so much for watching if you are new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe and i will see you next time